Oh shit. <laughs> um I know this was on. Um So, um what's up? Uh I haven't really done anything in a while, but uh figured I'd do a little unboxing here, um you could say of some games that I got that I'm actually very excited about. Uh, from some Sega Master System games. Um, so, pretty much nobody knows, but I collect Sega Master System games. Um, I've actually been getting a lot recently. Um, I probably went a little bit overboard, um, to be honest, which I actually kind of tend to do. Uh, from time and again, um, I kind of go on these spurts where I kind of buy some here and there. Um, but I believe I have over 100 US games, and it looks like I'm getting probably close to around 10 um, European games and I actually just got four in the mail uh, that I wanted to actually open and unbox as I get them um, now I, I wanted them to fucking leave a note to put them in the door because I actually kinda spent too much money on these but um they're actually really cool. Three of them are European only. And one of them is, is US. I feel like I know what this is and I hope it's the US one. It is the US one. It looks it almost looks slightly faded. Um, but wanted. Um I've actually owned this previously. Um supposed to have the the manual. Yeah, we got the manual. It actually This is pretty nice. The manual and the cartridge pretty much look brand new. Except I just dropped the cartridge. So, note taken. Um, take the cartridge out before I show it. Anyways. Um, they're pretty sturdy. So, if it doesn't work, we'll blame it on that. Um, anyways. On to the next one. The next three are the ones that I'm excited about, though, so really it was good that that kind of happened. Um, now this, I've never even seen this. Um, apparently all of these now, whether you know or not, the Sega Master System uh, is actually um, region free, so, well, not I wouldn't necessarily say region free, but you can play... Uh, that is a lie, I guess, really, though, but you can put the European games um, on the on the uh, Euro U.S. consoles. Um, the uh, Japanese games uh, actually had different cartridges, so the input slot was completely different, so it wouldn't even fit in uh, and play. But um, the European games actually will, so it's NTSC and, and the PAL. So let me take this out first, actually. This game is called... Um, Shadow Dancer, um, pretty good copy, um, booklet's not in, this, I mean, it's in pretty good condition, except for, I mean, the sides have a little bit of, uh, at this point, um, the manuals are, are must-haves, for the most part, at this point, manuals are pretty much must-haves, um, and any purchases, um, this one has kind of folded edges, kind of a little bit here, but uh, other than that, Shadow Dancer, The Secret of Shinobi, it's funny because these games, um, that looks all to be, that looks to all be in English, okay, so, these manuals are funny because it says, so this one, just picking a random page, it says, do you believe in magic as the headline over here? Now, each one of these columns is actually a different language. Um, so they've kind of scattered some different... You can you can tell that it says that, that it's all the same saying. Where it says magic, it's magi, magi, magia, magia, magi, magi. So you can basically tell it's the same thing um, with some different... Um, translations in each one so so I guess technically the manual is about 30 30 pages 31 pages but it has 
what is that, six or, okay, eight different languages. Um, so that's pretty interesting about the, the European. So th again, this game is called Shadow Dancer, The Secret, Secret of Shinobi. Um, I actually do have, uh, in the U.S. releases, let me put the game back in it, in the U.S. releases, and I didn't even think about actually showing just the regular version of Shinobi. I have my copy actually right here. But uh, this is this is Shinobi, uh, the U.S. version. Um, here's the game, the manuals, um, essentially mint. So that's pretty cool. Um, being, uh, it's fun. Oh, I don't think I actually showed the side of this. There's a side of Shadow Dancer. One thing that I have noticed with the uh, European, uh, fortunately it's reversed. Uh, one thing that I have noticed with the European games is that, from what you're from what you're familiar with, and I'll, and I'll show more of the spines later, but a lot of the uh, U.S. ones, I can't believe it's fucking reversed. Uh, obviously, I should have been able to tell with the tech nine in the background. Um, but Shadow Dancer, um, a lot of the U.S. ones are, were very, were basically just the same font in different sizes, um, that just, that said what, what the game was. Um, a lot of the European and the other games from Brazil and such, as you know, the, uh, or may not know, the Europe, European, uh, countries and... South American countries got much, much more uh, support for the uh, Sega Master System. Wow, is this for real? Interesting. Okay, so this one I'm actually really excited about. Um, so I know what the last one is, but we got the Sega sticker on there. Drum roll, please. Da Sonic Chaos. So, Sonic the Hedgehog Chaos. Um, I honestly don't even know what the hell this game is. There's a price on here for nine and a half pounds. Not sure what that converts to or how long ago that price tag was put on it. The price tag is actually on the box. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not on the box on the sleeve. It's actually on the the box art. Um, so that kind of sucks, but as a collector, I, I think it gives it some authenticity because, I mean, you do know that this Master System game is not a U.S. game. There are no Sonic games on the U.S. Master System. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog. I do have Sonic 1. Uh, with the manual, I don't have Sonic 2 with the manual yet. Um, that'll be something that's coming up. I do want to finish my uh, U.S. collection first. You know, other than James Buster Douglas, Ghouls and Ghosts, a couple other ones. Um, but Sonic Chaos, um, it looks like you can actually play as Tails in this one. Which is kind of amazing. This came out in 1993. So I do know that Europe continued... Supporting the master system, um, I would say longer than the U.S. Um, I think there's still things coming out of South America, Portugal, um, for the master system, and there's still uh, remakes being made. Uh, it definitely looks like in this game you play as Sonic and Tails. Um, I do want to go over all these, and then I'm will uh, I'll read the descriptions of them at the end. And then I actually do have a little uh, uh, a bonus to show you guys that is not part of the unboxing. Ooh. Looks like we have a little bit of wear on the actual box, but oh, did you guys see that? This has a sticker on the side too. It almost looks a little color faded, but I'm not really sure. There's a little bit of damage to it. Definitely not in mint condition, but I'm happy to be an owner of it. 
You got your sticker here. Not in the greatest condition. Paid a little bit more than I wanted to. But we have the Lucky Dime Caper uh, starring Donald Duck. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this as well. Um, I know this is one of the more rare games. Um, in the U.S., I believe it's in the U.S., um, The Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse was the only game that, that the U.S. got. That was part of the, what is it, is that Disney franchise? Walt Disney. Um, so it looks like I have the European version of this one. This is, I already have this, this is just a little bonus for you guys, but Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. You can see the, uh, although, although it, it does have the, it does kind of look like a US release from the cover of it. But, uh, got that too. I got a lot of games. So, we have the Lucky Dime Caper, starring Donald Duck. And this. Pretty interesting. This one and Shadow Dancer cost me the most I I got these on eBay um, for most of the things that I've been doing I've been going on Amazon and it's been kind of expensive I mean they're kind of somewhat inexpensive is what I meant to say uh, we have some rips on the back of that but um you know some use marks definitely not any kind of pristine condition with a little flap here but uh Again, the same as the other ones, the uh, the European ones. Okay, this is funny. See, shit like this is funny to me. Again, it does have the, the all the different languages, and this one it is by this page it looks like seven. Interesting. So this game came out in ninety three, ninety one. This one came out in ninety one, and. Rebecca and Richard played this game in 1994. Is that gonna come in? I can almost, I can almost tell that you know it's European because of the way that the date is written. Um, in the United States, we do month, date, and then year, and uh, and this is written um, on. The 29th of January in 1994, Rebecca scored 329,100 points. I can't exactly tell. Um, the second entry, the next day, she wrote it in on January 30th, 1994, um, that she had 245,100 points. So she was definitely a lot less. Um, and then Richard came in um, five, a little bit, um, about five months later, uh, which he was kind of bad at handwriting. But it looks like he destroyed her score by over 100,000 points with 451,100 points. So there's some uh, scorebooks entries here on the end. That's pretty funny. Um, to me, I don't really mind having things like that written in because I don't know I think it just kind of helps to the authenticity of of you know hey somebody act somebody played this game maybe they only played it twice maybe I won't even play it twice but we'll see we'll see we'll see the Lucky Dime Caper starring Donald Duck. So let me go through, and I know this is getting a little longer than I wanted to. Um, I do want to read the backs of these really quick for you guys. Obviously, I won't be reading Shinobi. But I do want to add in two more things that I got. The first one, um, I'll show you, I'll show you the, the lesser, cool, in my opinion, one first. Um, let me actually set this. I'm a little gentle with it for certain reasons, you'll see. But. No sticker.
populous. Populous. So this is an electronic arts game, um, licensed by Sega. Now a lot of these European games that they're coming out, um, this one was actually in 1989. It looks like, um, but a lot of these ones uh, in Europe actually are advertising for the Master System, the Master System 2, and Mega Drive with Master System Converter. So the Mega Drive's already out at the time when this is being released. So that's, you know, that's like PS1 games still coming out when PS2 is launched and things like that. So it's kind of an interesting thing. I got to show you something about this. Um, it's pretty cool on the back. Now it's your chance to play God, create the world in a week, and destroy it in a heartbeat. Conquer 5,000 hostile worlds, unleash floods, volcanoes, swamps, and earthquakes over... Over 750,000 populace sold worldwide. I'm sure it's probably multiplied by at least 10 since then. You've got to have sold 10,000 copies since then with Sega, uh, Super Nintendo, etc. Now check out this manual though. There's not just the one manual. Now this one manual... I have no idea what the hell language this is in. There is a second manual, which it has to be, the th I don't even want to take it out, it has to be the thickest Sega Master System manual I have ever seen. It fits in there, and the second one does not fit. How hilarious is that? It's in pretty good shape. But, this is from Australia actually. Um, really interesting how there's so many different languages on the back. Um, six landscapes, 5,000 worlds. Populous. Very interesting. Um, I've gotten a couple really awesome other games. Um, I'll show you guys in another video. One last one that I wanted to show you, and I'll read the backs of the first other three that, that that I got so this one I'm actually really excited about the two mega the Simpsons Bart versus the space mutants um, this actually I know there's a lot of counterfeit type products all over the internet for different things and I almost feel like this you know I don't even care about it, but the fact that there's a sticker on it makes me feel differently about it. Um, this is a Brazilian copy, I guess Portugal, maybe. Um, but it looks like it has a Russian sticker on it of Sega. I would take the, the, the wrapping off if it were not for this sticker, because I feel like that adds a lot to it at this point. I'll stop the delay and just show you that I finally got my copy of Bart versus the Space Mutants Simpsons game. Um, this is from a company, Tech Toy, which was actually very, very, very popular in South America. Um, check it up. If you have any interest in Sega Master System games, check out Tech Toy and the Master System games that they've released. Um, this is in a wrapping. Um, I would say I don't give a shit about the wrapping. But it does have a 99, and I'll probably have to do the translation on that for currency. But it has this Sega sticker on it. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like it's in Russian. And um, I just thought that was really interesting, so I'm going to leave it on. It only has three languages on the back, three different paragraphs of different languages, three screenshots. I'm not really sure why there's a red sticker on it. It looks like that was put on in the factory. But it says Tech Toy Industria de Brinqueros, probably limited. Um, and then it has their address. 
for Brazil. That's interesting. But it's licensed by Sega of Japan. So anyways, uh, this company, Flying Edge, Acclaim Entertainment, The Simpsons, 20th Century Fox, 1992. Okay, let's find... Does it even... It doesn't even have... Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I was so stuck on the Europeans that I'm a fucking moron. It's all in Spanish. These three paragraphs are all in Spanish. Um, I really, really wish that I was better at Spanish. Hola, simples more. It's pro I'm gonna try to read it in English. Well, um, hello, simple mortals. Mutants, space, invading Springfield, help. Springfield, shopping, Museum of Natural History, nuclear. And that's what I got out of the three paragraphs. So I'm actually... Really excited about that. I recently went to Manhattan with my girlfriend Jenna and I got what was it? Um My Hero, which I was lacking, which was really cool. We got Donald Duck. This is cool. Sonic Chaos. Let me read the back of this. Dr. Robotnik stole the red Chaos Emerald and it's up to Sonic the Hedgehog to get it back. As Sonic or Tails, the two-tailed fox, you'll zip through the zones using your quick moves and quicker thinking to collect rings and evade Robotnik's latest batch of badniks. Very cool. Sonic Chaos. So, I don't know, I guess this came out after the other Sonics? Probably came out after 1 and 2, that's for sure. There's also Sonic Spinball. Which would be really cool to own. Um, at this point, with Sonics, I think I would like to get Sonic the Hedgehog too. Um, again, we got Shadow Dancer. The Secret of Shinobi. Not to be confused with the Simpletons US version of Shinoba Shinobi. Uh, we also got some other games that I'm putting this box back in. We got some games next to it that are... Pretty cool. Um, I should probably eventually do a collection video. I'm at the point where I might take a little break, so maybe we'll do that coming up. But um, anyways, Shadow Dancer. And then lastly, the simple game of Wanted. So that's what we got. And if anybody watched this, thanks for watching. Um... Again, my collection's pretty big. I guess I could show you it really quickly, briefly. If you really care, you can pause it. But that's what we got. So, I want to eventually do a collection video and some gameplays. I got a video of me playing Action Warrior, um, where the controller fucks up. It was actually a pretty fun time. I want to get back into it. I got this, this room set up for me here. Um... But, you know, I never get around to doing it. So, maybe one day. But anyways, that took f fucking forever to, to do that. But um, I hope you guys liked those the six rare games that I showed you there. Once is not as rare, but the other five, definitely. Um, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. See you guys later. Have a great Memorial Day weekend.